Hello everyone, I'm Paul Ludlow, President of p and Cruises, and I'm so pleased to be here in Southampton, our home port. Whilst I'm unable to be on board at the moment, it is certainly a cheering sight to see Ventura, as I've not seen any of our ships in person for quite some time. September is traditionally a time of new beginnings. The summer is over, many people have been on holiday and enjoyed time with family and friends, children have now returned to school, and we all look forward to the autumn to many of the traditional events which take place over the next few months. Latterly, we've been able to spend precious and much needed time with those who are close to us, and some people have taken a holiday abroad, whilst the majority have opted for a staycation which serve to remind us just how beautiful it is here in the UK. Recently, we have seen the gradual return to service of some European cruise companies, albeit with limited ports of call and capacity. Working together as an industry collective has brought us closer and has ensured that we have noted best practice and shared expertise for when we do return to service. We're also talking to the communities we visit around the world, who rely on tourism for the vast proportion of their income. And there are certainly signs of hope and the ability and will to open up to cruising. As well as the industry bodies, we are currently working with many of the most brilliant minds in science, as well as government at the highest level. We're nearing the conclusion of these conversations regarding our new approved health protocols. We have set up operational teams to put these in place and I hope to be able to share more detail on this in the next few weeks. Whilst adherence to these protocols on board and ongoing vigilance will be critical, this will always be coupled with still giving our mutual guests the well-deserved and memorable holidays for which we are known, with all the standout moments on board and experiences ashore. This is what we have always done and will continue to do. And so, looking ahead, with evolving restrictions on travel from the UK, unfortunately it is necessary to extend the current pause to the beginning of next year. These further cancellations to our cruises vary according to ship and itinerary, but sadly we are cancelling all cruises due to depart in 2020 as well as early 2021. All of the details are highlighted on our website, pocruises.com, but as an overall summary, we are cancelling all Caribbean cruises up to the end of January and all cruises from and to Southampton up to February, apart from Arcadia and Aurora, which have already been announced as being cancelled through to the end of their Spring World cruises. I am so sorry to have to deliver this news and especially to your customers who were sailing with us for Christmas and for the new year, as well as for other celebrations and occasions. The reason that this extension is not one definitive date is that our decisions have had to be based on the complexity and length of itineraries, advice and guidance regarding ports of call, air availability for fly cruises and in easing back into service with the new protocols. As before, your customers who are booked on a cruise which is cancelled will be notified and will automatically receive an enhanced 125% future cruise credit. Alternatively, if they prefer, they can opt to receive a 100% refund by filling out the form on the P&O Cruises website. Please do help us by asking them to make sure that all details are correct. And again, a huge thank you for bearing with us through recent technical issues. I've said it before, but we never underestimate your support. You are vital to the success of our business. I am very hopeful that soon restrictions will ease, borders will open and we will once again be able to set sail. And I am confident that we will soon be celebrating the end of our pause and it will precede a new beginning. Stay safe everyone and stay well.